Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. I hope all of you are fine and have a good time. Today we are going to discuss past indefinite tense. First of all, when do we use past indefinite tense? We use past indefinite tense to write about something which has happened in the past. For example, we'll use past indefinite tense for writing stories because stories are always happen in past so we'll use past indefinite tense to write any story as you have read about the stories like union is certain um older glitter is not gold uh, look before you leap so for any um, story you will use past indefinite tense let's suppose if i want to ask you that what did you do yesterday then uh, which tense you will use to write about you will use past indefinite tense because i am asking about your past day which has uh, been passed i am not talking about your future or present so you will use past indefinite tense now have a look on these sentences first one is wo school gaya humne chai pi माली ने पौधों को पानी दिया डू यू फाइंड एनी थिंग कॉमन इन देयर बिगनिंग और एट देयर एंड येस वी हैव फाइंड समथिंग कॉमन दैट इज इन फर्स्ट सेंटेंस अलेफ इन सेकेंड वन छोटी ये इन द थर्ड वन अगेन अलेफ सो इट मीन्स इन पास इन डेफिनेट टेंस दे विल एंड एट अलेफ छोटी और बड़ी ये मीन्स they will have a leaf choti or badi at their end so how will you recognize that these sentences are of past indefinite tense if you see that they end at a leaf choti or badi then you will quickly then you can quickly identify that and them that they these sentences are of past indefinite tense now come towards their pattern first one is affirmative sentence so uh, first come subject as usual then uh, there will be no helping verb we use pa- uh, second form of verb that is past form of verb and then object and at the end of uh, it there will come full stop that is very important and then there comes negative sentences first come subject then did not Uh, now i want to tell you that uh, did is the second form or past form of do so we are not going to use here past form of verb but now we will use first form of verb because did is second form we can't use two second forms or two past form in single sentence so here comes first form of verb and then object and then full stop now come towards the interrogative sentences now uh, for making it interrogative we will use did in the beginning then subject then verbs first form and then object and at the end will come question mark that is very important which we often forget so in the affirmative or negative sentences we will use full stop at the end of the sentence or in interrogative sentences we will use question mark now come towards the practice first uh, first we will do simple one hum baaki sair ko gaye so hum we sair ko gaye second there will come second form went for a walk baaki in the garden we went for a walk in the garden kya tumne jhoot bola now kya kya ke liye kya hoga did shuru mein aayega तुम सॉरी तुम के लिए क्या आएगा यू और अगर मैं होता तो यहाँ आएगा आई सो हेयर कम्स यू डिड यू टेल अल आई एंड इन द सेम वे इफ आई आज यू मैंने सबक याद किया आई लर्न सेकेंड फॉर्म बिकॉज इट इज़ सिंपल आई लर्न माई लेसन इन द सेम वे इफ आई से क्या उसने अखबार पढ़ा डिड ही read the newspaper so in this way you can uh, do a lot of sentences so now what's the homework uh, you're supposed to do 15 sentences 
on your notebook five affirmative five negative and five interrogative i hope all of you have understood the topic inshallah you will do uh, this homework on your notebook and i'll check it thank you allah hafiz